Okay, so what's up guys? It's your boy motherfucking Hacker Andrew here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play PS1 games on a Mac computer. Now, this is by request. Um, somebody did ask me to make this video, so I'm going to go ahead and make it for you guys, and I'm going to be doing it because I want to, because I think uh, you guys will like this. Now, um, the program or the emulator that I'm going to be using is not going to be the original, which is um, by the developers over at PCSX. Um, they have a developer's website somewhere, but they haven't been uh, updating their uh, program in about two or three, four years around there. Um, so a separate uh, lead of developers grabbed the program and did a little bit of updating a couple of years ago. So it's a little bit of a uh, one-year-old, two-year-old emulator, but I think you guys will like it. Like I said, I'm always looking for the best of the best. I don't just grab anything off the fucking internet and just say, hey, fuck it, I'm going to make this video. Now, I make sure that everything works and everything's run smooth. BIOS, all the files that you need, I always give them to you without surveys or none of that bullshit. So first things first, um, I know I'm probably confusing you guys. Um, you're going to have to download a folder that will be in the bonnet description. And when you download it, go ahead and unzip it and then open it up. Now, when you open it up, you're going to get a folder or two folders that say, uh, one is going to say emulator with files and the other one's going to say Metal Slug X. Now, if uh, I jump into the game, and I open it, it's going to be an, uh, a RAR. So we're going to go ahead and unrar this real quick. And uh, we're going to go ahead and wait very, very patiently while this unrars. Um, if you're on a Windows computer, make sure you look up WinRAR. If you're on a Mac, you're going to be looking up unrar X. Go ahead and Google for those, and you should get those. Now, when you unrar it, go ahead and open it, and you're going to have three little files here. All we're going to be using is the IMG. So there it is. Uh, we're done with the game setup. Now we're going to go into the emulator. So go ahead and back out a couple times. Go back to emulator with files. Go ahead and open that up. And you should have two files here. Now if you have PCSX already installed in your computer, go ahead and remove it. Um, and if you have the files, which is a folder like this, in your library, and by the way, I'll show you guys how to check that in a second, um, you need to remove that from your computer because that's an old version. This is a modded version of PCSX. So the way you delete that is by going to your uh, main hard drive, click on Untitled, and then click on Library, open up Library, and then scroll all the way up until you click Application Support, and double click on that, and then look for PCSX, and make sure that it's not in there. After you delete it, go ahead and reopen the folder that I gave you guys in the link, the, uh, in the link down low, and open it up again. Now we're going to be transferring this folder over to that directory. So go ahead and drag it to your desktop. I'm sorry about that. It went off the screen for a second. We're going to open up our hard drive, then library, then application support, and then just go ahead and drag and drop that in there. Then we're going to repeat the same steps, and we're going to go ahead and open up the same folder again for the third, fourth time. And we are going to go to emulator with files, and then we're going to grab this application and drag it to the applications tab here. So then click on applications, and then we're going to click on PCSX and we're going to drag it to the bottom bar. Now you don't have to do this. I'm going to do this just so it's easier for me and quicker. Um, and there it is. So we set up the emulator. Um, it's installed with all the BIOS. Um, everything you need. I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick that I'm not bullshitting you. We're going to go to library. Um, application support, PCSX. The BIOS are there so you don't need any other files to run games. This works with Japanese games along with US games. Um, for controller preference, um, before, you know, if you're going to be using a USB controller, um, the PS3, the original analog or DualShock, whatever you have, if it's still an original Sony controller, you're going to have to install the drivers for it for Mac. Um, just look in my channel, you'll find a couple of videos on a couple other emulators, and I, I do provide the, uh, the driver that you install. And then you just restart your computer and you can plug in uh, via Bluetooth. Now, if you're not using an official Sony controller, you're using a different, like a third party like Logitech um, or Mad Cats, uh, preferably stick with Logitech, a USB Logitech PS3 controller. If not, a Mad Cats USB wired. Um, try to stay away from wireless, keep it wired. Um, in this instant, or this, uh, this time, I'm going to be using a Mad Cats PS3 wired gamepad controller. This goes for around 20 bucks, it's not that uh, expensive. And this is basically what it looks like. Um, so before you get started and actually open the game or the emulator, go ahead and plug in your controller and push all the buttons. Just make sure you squeeze the home button. You you know you're squeezing all the buttons. You click your analog. Just you know give your your computer the the OK and basically say that the controller is plugged in. Um, now if you plug your controller while the emulator is open, um, it won't read the USB configuration, so it won't pop up. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and open up PCSX, so double click on it, and if you get a pop-up, click OK, click Open, and then if you don't see anything, 
go ahead and click on PCXX again then click on PCSX on top, top left hand side by the Apple and then click on preferences after you click on preferences do not mess with any of this your system region is going to be on auto detect make sure that that's on auto detect and then everything else leave it alone then you're going to click on plugin or the plugins uh, tab there and you're going to come down to where it says controller now here it's going to say gamepad keyboard input version 1.1.0 uh, so we're good there. Now we're going to click on configure, which is where we're going to work it. So here uh, we have two tabs, controller 1, controller 2. I'm sorry if I'm talking too fast. I'm just trying to break it down and um, let you guys understand this. So for controller 1, um, you know, it's going to say device here. And then make sure that it says uh, USB controller. That means that your computer recognizes it and the emulator recognizes the USB controller. Now it's not going to, right, right off the bat, it's not going to say PS3 controller. It's just going to stay... Um, as the USB controller. Now, if it doesn't recognize it, it's just going to stick to keyboard, um, and then you're fucked. So <laughs> make sure that works. Everything's good, and you're good to go. Now, uh, now, how to set up the controller? Now, you're going to click on USB controller, and you're going to double click on the D-pad, which we're going to start from the top. So grab your controller, push all the buttons. So turn it all on. The home button, start, select all the buttons, and then double click on the D-pad. So we're going to start from the top, and we're just going to be pushing the buttons. So D-pad, double click until it's highlighted, and then you're going to push up, and then uh, double click it down. D-pad left, double click it right, cross. We're going to press X on the controller. Uh, double click circle, double click square, double click triangle, double click L1, double click R1. Double click L2, double click R2, select, double click start. And there it is. That's the configuration. We're good to go. We're going to click OK. And then we're going to go ahead and close this. Now we're going to click on File. We're going to run ISO. Now you can run the BIOS, which is what I'm going to do right now. You don't have to do this. Um, when you're running a game that you download from the Internet, I'm not supporting piracy, but if you do own the game and you ripped it into an ISO, um, you click on uh, Run ISO. And then you're going to locate the game. Now I'm going to quickly just show you guys the the preview or the intro to the PS1. So here it is. We're going to run the BIOS. Okay, so there it is. It's not a big deal. I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys. Um, the best part about this is you can make the screen bigger, smaller, um, and so on and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and click on File. We're going to click on Close. And then we're going to click on File, Run ISO. So we're going to run ISO. We're going to click on Desktop, then PS1, the Hacker Andrew, Metal Slug X for PS1, into the folder. And then you're going to click on the IMG image. Now, depending on what you download, if you do download the games or um, whatever you have, just try to click to an, uh, stick to an IMG, uh, a dot bin, whatever the game may be. Just as long as it's not a zip or a RAR, it's not going to read it. Make sure that you uh, open the game. So here it is, the IMG. We're going to go ahead and double click on it. We're going to go ahead and launch it here. And we're going to go ahead and wait patiently. Now it's going to take a couple of seconds to boot up. Just go ahead and, and uh, go with it. So here it is. I'm using the controller. Once again, I am using a basic Mad Cats controller under 20 bucks. You can pick it up on eBay um, for under 10 bucks. On Amazon, I'm pretty sure it goes for around 20 So there it is. We're going to go ahead and make the screen bigger. And then we're going to click on Start. There it is. Now we're moving with the controller. We're going to click on X, Arcade Mission. Yes. Click OK. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the volume here. And we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to choose Marco. And we're going to shoot with Square. We're going to jump with X. And we're going to throw grenades with Circle. So there it is. Basic uh, configuration. The analogs are working um, as well. You don't have to necessarily use a D-pad. So for your motions, um, right now it's set on D-pad, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to change that. So there it is, you shoot with square, you jump with X, and you throw grenades to circle. So there it is, guys, running full speed on a Mac Core Duo. This is a 2006 uh, MacBook, uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM. Um, not a lot is needed. This is just a basic emulator that I think is modded, and I think uh, I wanted to share with you guys. So there it is what it is. Um, I'm sorry if I jibber-jabbered a little bit, um, and I hope you guys like this video.